Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho! It's your boy, Captain Hook, and welcome back to the Captain Hook Show. And if you're new to the show, well, strap on into the High Seat Gaming on Mobile Adventures if you're a long time subscriber. Well, the game we're playing today is always going to be Last War. Mm hmm. And for let you know, understand what a lot of YouTube content creators are making is always going to be about the first event but they're always leaving out the key information that you need which is going to be important for you to research right and how to be self-sufficient to understand what you need to do so i'm going to show you everything that you need to do right now i'm just going to do a little bit of grinding so you can kind of see what i'm doing right now i got this other march open uh uh, uh building hammer and i'm going to look, look at my um how long is this 14 hours yeah we're going to rock this all right boom well, that's cooking. Also, have this going on at the moment. I could actually go to the wall, but I'm gonna go over here because I'm ready level 22. I don't need to do that. So let's take a look over here. Let's hop onto this train. Let's take a look where we can hop on. Let me try right here. Yeah, it is what it is. Boom. We're gonna hop out. All right, just do a little bit of grinding. All right, now the important thing is gonna be uh, your research, researching what you need to do in the verse event which is going to give you the max amount of points that allow you to be competitive in the first event all right but as i'm going through my daily grind of the things that i need to do to uh get things going this is how i am a free to play player with a level 22 hq because these are the things that i'm constantly doing at all times uh to allow myself to uh to upgrade all right so we're going to want code no we're good there all right, we'll do the other storm another moment. All right, boom. Let's grab on this. Let's claim all those. Grab that. Bounce out. Come here. Click on our tiles. Get those resources that we have that we need. Click on. Nope. And click on that. Grab that. Very good. Come over to Alliance. Alliance gift. Claim all. Hit the premiums. I don't have the collect all on that level and not on the VIP level, but still I'm gonna grab those. So we're at level 11 on the gift level. Alliance Tech, come on over and donate up as much as possible. Boom, throw one little extra. Come on over, come over to Alliance Store, check out what we got going, campaign store. We can grab these, we got 5,000. And uh, we got to do the hero chest as well. And now that we've done a little bit of the grinding that's needed to be done, now let's go into what everyone wants to take a look at the first event when it comes to your research, right? So here is the first icon, this blue icon over here, this one in the over left. We're gonna click onto it. I suggest everyone does six, six, and six then allow you to open this one that gives you the premium rewards for the unlock the tiers from four through six this is super important but the six here is going to be get more points for completing a radar task right and this is going to be for speed ups and this one is going to be for recruiting heroes i also did one extra one here for dual expert increasing earn points for everything else why is that important and relevant whenever you see all the other youtube content creators making content in the verse event you click on the verse uh, icon and look at today's uh, theme is going to be Age of Science, right? And you want to take a look at it, and you can see where we're going to have the extra points. But let's take a step back and look at the very first uh, one, which is going to be the dual process. So you come to the first icon, you come to the dual process, you can then click on day one, which is going to be radar training. And in radar training, by getting the six levels on the first icon, I add 13,500 for completing one radar task. And you get seven radar tasks daily. And you can see here, I'm banking them, and I have the red icons, and they're just saving. And I'm waiting for them. If I click on the red dot, it completes it. But if you don't, it'll hold it. And if you see in the very top, at a level eight gift level of my radar level, I can hold a thousand. I'm just sitting on these for the next verse week coming up. Now, when it comes to strategy, is that you need to start playing from day one of the verse event to the enemy buster on day six. And that's how you play the game. So on day one is going to be usually typically on Sunday night. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our current server, server 682, using stamina. 
completing the radar task using at least 660 uh, hero exp at one time if you one point not that much you really shouldn't be using exp for that uh getting some drones and using drone parts and buying packs and then gathering gathering is a sleeper here you should definitely be gathering on day one but this lets you know what you need to do for day one and then for day two is going to be base expansion for base expansion means upgrading your base when you upgrade your base you want to get it to a point where one of these things are open if you click on the present it will give you that if you don't click on the present you save it for the base expansion day so what you should be doing is as as you're upgrading things don't click the present and save it until day two of the first event all right then on day three, which I'm currently at, is Age of Science is going to be research. And research, you can see here, you can get research for drone component chests. And opening your drone component chests are going to give you the most amount of points. And then research and speed up. So, with that being said, let's go into my inventory. Let's uh, go ahead and just open that. We're going to open that as well. And we're going to open all the way, slide the bar over and open 10. And now let's go back into the burst icon and you can see i got 42,000. and i was able to open up the first tier crate by just saving the drone components now completing a radar task 13 1500 and that's going to give me the most if i come over to my radar you can see now you can watch the magic happen because i've been banking these all right so i'm just going to open all the red dots now open the red dots open them up open them open them let's get all those going get that going get that one get that one get that one great fantastic keep going and now here i'm going to start um doing the auto and just getting it right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. come back over to the radar and quick perform and it's going to send all that out, which is phenomenal at the VIP level. Why you should be getting your VIP level? Get to that level, you can do all of that at once, and it will send out. And let's click on this dude here, and let's go ahead and attack him real quick. Come on, and send the march out. Come back over into here and start collecting, because I've been saving all these. And you can see this is the reason why you bank them. And you leave them red because all of these are giving me 13,000 and a half points for every radar task that I've been completing right now. And there's so many still that I can still do, which is fantastic. And this is how you can understand why certain players on this game are getting so many million points when it comes to uh, verse events. And I would say that the average goal for any alliance that's a top tier alliance is that every player should be getting at least a million points per day. If you're not doing a million points per day, you ain't serious about playing this game and you shouldn't be in a top tier alliance. So that should be the minimum. Now you can work your way up to a million points by say starting out at 500,000 on the first week and then on the second week absolutely be a million, but a real top tier alliance is gonna ask for a million on week one which should be easy to do by watching these uh, how-to tutorials on how to do this, which I'm showing you here on the Captain Hook Show. Holla! <coughs> Shameless plug. All right, watch the playlist and also subscribe. And from there, you'll be able to become a boss top tier player. You know what I'm saying? So while that's cooking, I can also just come over here and grab this and let's just hop out, go back. We're just trying to just move and be a little bit uh, uh, double tiered. And let's just grab some more stuff as well. And as you can see how I just keep grinding and keep going and just keep going and just grab all these things because I've been waiting this entire time to get all these. And rather than being um, not patient and, uh, you know, just doing it in live time, I, I would have missed out on all of these amazing opportunities that I'm getting. And all these things are adding up and giving me tons of points. And let's go here and here and deploy and go here, keep grinding, deploy, go here again, go, De deploy, here we go again, deploy, 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 nope, come on, what's the 70, do I not have 70 anymore? Okay, great, boom, uh, now to this one, which will be 60, go. Last one, let's get that out, deploy. Fantastic, back over to the map, cool. This is how you can multitask and grind hard, and this is how you can go from a free-to-play player 
to a dominating player with on your server. If you watch my master server, uh, my master class uh, playlist that I have, how to go from HQ one to ten, um, it's still relevant to all the other levels within this particular game, all the way up to thirty. It just takes longer to achieve it, but you can watch how I grind and how I play. This particular game so all of these are now cooking and good i need to uh eliminate this guy so boom let's just all right it's a one i don't need to do one that's going to be a waste don't fall for that all right so go you're doing the lead go to what's going to be around like your level or what you want that's going to be at least worth the rally and let's go ahead and rally that person all right cool and let's come back over here and all that is now cooking and waiting and now let's go into our verse event and now you can see here right i got 568 thousand points and just saving my radar task and i got some points for saving my drones and now i can now focus on my research to give me some more points as well right and these are all the things that you want to do while in the game right and come over to our inventory let's grab that let's grab more of those drone parts there's more of those components there we're just going to give us some points Come over to our mail, let's grab some of these boxes. Very good. Jump out here, regular clear that. Go back to our mail. Go to our lines. New daily donations. Get all those things. Battle. No one's attacking me. Very good. All that's cleared. Good. So all those red dots are cleared and we cleared that out. And while we did that, we got that here. We come back over to the radar. We can collect that one. And then this is going to be a Doom Walker. All right, this is going to give us a 120. I already know that we can't do a 120. What I really need is a 100. Um, now I can search the map and look for a 100 and set a rally and hope that we can find it. But I'm going to see if you guys the pain of that. I'm just going to search a little bit more. See if I can just maybe find a 100. No. No. That's a... Uh, 130. All right, good. So can't find that. This is why you have an alliance. Jump into your alliance and go find a Doom Walker. 100. Please and thank you. Cool. All right. Let's have it over here. Let's come back over to the map. Boom. Let's grab that one. That's giving us more points. And you can see in our verse, we're now at 600. So in that little bit, we were able to get that. And the goal is to get to a million. Only got to do 400,000. That's just the very beginning of the day, you know, for the verse event. And it's still tomorrow. So now I'm going to wait for all my radar tasks to, you know, complete and continue as you see i'm level 22 so let's break it down let's do a quick summary and do a review of everything that we said all right so in the verse event if you want to be self-sufficient okay you click on the verse icon all right you look at the daily uh dual process you click on the day that you on it will highlight and it will tell you exactly everything that you need to do to get yourself points now all the things that are in green on my screen like the 13,500 for cleaning radar task is due to research now if you come within your base and you come over into your uh resource center and you come to the verse and you come to the first icon this is going to be all resources going to give you extra points now for example i can do some extra research here but you know what i really want to do i want to get more for the radar task and that's four hours i have the so i'm going to hit research on that i'm going to hit help and now today actually is a research day so now if i've been saving researches i already have 440 i can do enough to do that however instant speed up is fantastic but you see i'm getting helps from my current alliance so what i like to do is come to your research button hit use and see so you can do it 54 times so i'm just going to hit use a couple of times and just get it down a little bit lower to where it's like a little bit comfortable where i think that my line should be able to like help me through and let's just say 17 so i can save three of my speed ups and if my alliance is online it's going to basically upgrade and be done because they're hitting the help button i got 12 minutes i can either wait a couple minutes and let that work or i can just um there it goes another help and for the sake of the video and for everyone else i'm just going to hit speed up and hit the last two 
and it's done. So now I can do an eight hour as well for a thousand. It's gonna give me more. And you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit help. I'm gonna heat it up. Now, however, you're probably saying, yo, Hook, why are you putting so much, all right, into, you know, like this radar? Because the radar, which I showed you, I had a bunch of those, all right? And I gave me like half a million points. If I do more research into that, that could have been a million right there. And if you're doing a million day just on radar tasks, that is the easiest way to throw up alliance points to allow you to get the edge in the verse event. Simple as that. However, to appease everyone back home, here is the tree. This one tree is going to be less. These are the Valor, you know, badges that allow you, the, from the verses that allow you to do it, right? You can click on it here. You can see what it is, right? And coming down here, this is going to be for construction. And this is going to be for doing research. Today's a research day. So I probably should have done, which I will do after this one finishes and completes, doing, helping research. Because research with research is now triple dipping. And if you then pair that with... Right? You feel me? When you go to events and you come to the arm race, ha <laughs> You're getting points uh, for doing everything you're doing, which is going to be, I don't know, research. You feel me? And here's a third chest. Wow. You see how all that comes together like synergy? Energy? You can double, you can get points for research on the... At the same time, they have the verse event. Mm-hmm right for research and get points for your verse points plus the arms race plus then if you went into your research tree which i'm about to do right in the verse icon and you come over to the research and I hit research i'm researching and making my stuff faster and here 230 well, you know what just for fun boom done okay you see, you see what i'm saying triple dipping let's 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 dip again <laughs> let's dip again <laughs> okay now i only have 45 minutes of speed ups and this is where now my lines has to come into place but now because it's a speed up day i could use those but these aren't research speed ups those are my you know speed ups there for just i'm just gonna let that rock until i get a little bit closer uh later in the day but that gives me more points and all of that double dipping now brought to me the 879 thousand points in the verse event and if the goal is a million you're already cooking and you're double dipping and you're getting arms race and getting all that stuff and now if i wanted to i can then speed up my research center which i'm not going to do which i could do i can take five hours off but i'm just going to bank that because why am i going to bank those speed ups because in the next week right there's going to be base expansion where those come in the event so basically on sunday night into uh monday night you're doing the radar training and you're saving all your radars and after monday night you no longer open your radar task until the following monday for the next week of the verse then when it comes to your base expansion you're upgrading everything in your base all throughout the week but you're not hitting the present and you're only opening the presents on day two of the base expansion and then on day three for the age of science you're saving all your research speed and all your research and your verse icons and all of that so you can get triple dips with the arm race on day three and then on day four for training hero right that's going to be the day where you would then go into your hero here i can literally upgrade my hero right now but i'm banking on my exp i'm almost at 300 million exp why so that i can upgrade on the verse day of day uh four i'm going to be training your heroes and then on day five that's going to be where you're going to be uh, total mobilization, which is going to be radar tasks, construction, increased building, research, training speed, training units. It's basically everything that you did in all the other days you now do on day five. I'll give you the same points, right? And then enemy buster, which I truly love, right? That brings you into the verse event, which is going to be where you can dispatch trucks, right? And look at that with my research, 105,000 for sending out a gold UR truck on the enemy buster. Hello, if you guys will really want to talk about server versus server, okay, server versus server, I'm going to give you a pro tip on how you can win server versus server right now. Okay, are you listening? You got interest? Alliance Assault. We're now teamed up from Alliance 682 versus 681. But prior to this week, we were lined up with Alliance GB, you know, GRB, right? And now with GRB, we were internal. We didn't have to fight each other. You know why? Because if you're doing your research in the verse event and you look at the enemy buster, you get 105,000 for sending out a gold truck. 
you get 78,000 with the basic research that I just showed you, which is entry level to open up that first tier box, which everyone should be doing, right? Now you can get more depending on how much research you do. So it all depends on all the research you do, but if you do the basic, which I've showed you, which I'm showing you now as a baseline, right? So then also you're getting construction points for research points and etc. And then when it comes to killing enemies that you're rival with, right, is 11 points, right? And that's great. However, you also get points for units killed. Do you see this? You're still getting points for killing people that are not actually in the people, your first events. What does that mean? So during day six, if I never attack uh, server 681, uh special forces right i only attack people within my server okay that weren't in the top 10 tier i'm still getting points still getting maximum rewards and still getting all of the uh wonderful uh buckets that you can get in the uh here you can get all of these right all right you can get the first 40, this three, and this three, and etc. So you're not losing anything. So what I am saying to everyone, which other servers do, is not original thought, right? On the first week of the verse event, if you really want your server to win, okay? And you're going against someone within your server, to be clear, you don't have to fight each other. What your server should do... What your server should do is make it a kill event for the entire server where the top 10 is you is untouchable and the top 10 cleans the server of all of the dead alliances and the bases that people have stopped playing so that they don't have any troops. So for the second week of the verse event, when it comes to enemy buster, there aren't free points given up in server versus server. Because if you clean your server during the enemy buster and you don't fight each other you don't lose any troops and you keep building you're that much stronger for week two then you clean your server all the dead weight so you don't lose any points and all the people that are in the top 10 want to be in top 10 because then they're safe and then you get server merging and then you become a super server do you hear what i'm saying this is what the top tier the top of the frosting cake servers do take what i'm saying to you if you want to be a top tier server use the verse event to shape how your players play the game it should be based on the daily dual process and you can take a look from day one through six is what you should be upgrading and saving and then when the day is over you save it for the next week and then you clean your server and once your server is clean you don't do that no more and all you do is do server for server you're one big team and this is how you could win server to server and these are the key things that none of the content creators are talking about when it comes to verse event and my boy it will always be yo man captain hook on your side to keep your hook sharp Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to catch you on the next tide and subscribe.